So I just wanted to do a video on my vegan pregnancy, what I've been eating, how I've been feeling and how my health has been throughout the pregnancy. So I'm 16 weeks pregnant. I feel really good. Um, I have had nausea. Uh, I've had nausea for the entire pregnancy. It has eased off. I was back in Ireland. I'm living in Portugal and it's quite warm here. And I did notice when I was back in Ireland, it eased off a little bit. And I think that the reason that it actually eased off was because I was in a cooler climate. I was more drawn to um, things like porridge or cereals or um, like more starchy kind of foods. Whereas here, being in such a warm climate, especially in the summer, um, I do find that I, I'm a lot more drawn to fruits and all the fruit is so beautiful at the moment. It's all in season. You know, you've got like your peaches, your nectarines, your plums, your apricots, your pineapple, the watermelon, um, or loads, a variety of melons. And you know, it's just quite natural to be more drawn to those kind of foods that time, this time of the year. But I don't know, I think, I suppose it's just like it's out of habit. That's one of the reasons that I started eating a raw till forest style of eating because last summer that's how I ate. I felt great. It suited me perfectly. I had no problems whatsoever. Digestion was perfect. But I found since I've been pregnant that I've really struggled with the volume of food. Like it's very difficult for me to eat, you know, a big, vol a, a large volume of food. Um, I still get the same calories in throughout the day, but I'm just not able to get like the volume of food. So I found that... I ended up getting hungry really easily because I just wasn't able to drink the biggest, the, the smoothies that I was drinking before. I could drink like, you know, maybe a six to eight banana smoothie before, whereas now, like, I was struggling to drink like a three banana smoothie. Um, so what I've had to do is like have a lot more, st I think if I have more starch in my diet, I'm going to be better off. Um, like this morning now, I had three pieces of toast and um, a mango some chopped up apple and some apricots and I found that that was really fine it's 12 o'clock now still not hungry not remotely hungry whereas if I just had a fruit breakfast I'd be getting hungry now and in most circumstances I'd actually be working still right now so I'd be getting really hungry I wouldn't be able to get my lunch for another hour maybe two and then by the time lunchtime came I'd either feel absolutely terrible because I'd be so hungry or else I would just feel like I was craving something really fatty and really oily and really salty and then I feel absolutely terrible after eating that. Um, so I just find that it's better off if I eat like a little bit more starchy um, even though it is the summer and I am craving fruit. So I find that the fruit hasn't really become, it's not really a meal or it's just like part of my meal but it's not like the whole thing of the meal. And it's the same with my greens, you know, I mean I really am struggling to eat like the large volumes of greens that I was before and for this reason I had a blood test recently and my iron levels have actually dropped a little bit and also I'm very low in um, lactic acid I want to say it's like it's the opposite to if you had gout so like if you had gout you have too much uric acid you have too much uric acid in your body I think it's uric acid I'm quite certain um, you have too much of that in your body and that comes from foods like meat fish eggs, cheese, um, beer, as far as I know. I think that's what it is. Um, also lentils, beans, that sort of thing. So I've had to eat more of those foods. Obviously not the animal products, because those are disgusting and not actually food. But I've been having a lot more of the um, beans, lentils. But they're not really my favourite either, to be honest. I'm not a big bean person. I find I don't really like the taste. They do not digest out, digest very well. I can be very gassy if I've had a lot of beans. Um, so I've just been having little bits of them and what I have been having a lot of which is high in iron are figs and apricots and they're both in season at the moment so they're easy to get they taste absolutely amazing um, so I've been having a lot of them I try to aim for like five apricots a day or like five or six figs a day and they're pretty big figs they're like the size of like a plum so um, yeah they're really good very nice so that's food and I haven't actually gained any weight yet in the pregnancy. Um, so I mean in the first trimester some women gain weight, some don't. I actually have lost weight. Um, I don't know what that's from. I think maybe as I was trying to get used to what was suiting me and what wasn't suiting me eating wise because I was really, I got an aversion to a lot of foods that were like part of my everyday diet when I first got pregnant. Potatoes, yeah, who gets an aversion to potatoes? But like the smell of potatoes made me feel sick. Um, especially cleaning them. I don't know. There was just like a really potent smell off them. 
Um, bananas, gotta turn off bananas, who gets to turn off bananas? And I kind of like, I really did struggle in the first couple of weeks to like be like, what the heck do I eat? And I've never been a big rice person. I would eat rice, but like, it was like, oh, potatoes, I'm all about the potatoes. But now I'm back eating potatoes. I just can't eat the volume of, the volume of them I used to eat. So I used to be able to eat like a kilo and a half, whereas now I'm only eating like half kilo, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, so I'm just eating more frequently, smaller amounts, and still getting in the same amount of calories throughout the day, but just in smaller amounts. And yeah, so haven't gained any weight, so that's a good thing. I suppose most women would like to hear that. And you know, I mean, um, I know this idea of like eating for two, I think it's important to eat enough, definitely eat sufficient calories, but like, I think it's also important to remember like your baby's fine like you know I mean your baby's gonna get all the nutrients that it needs you just need to lead a healthy lifestyle and eat healthy foods you don't need to eat like huge amounts of food I think it's a lot worse to be eating things like chocolate and ice cream and you know really unhealthy things and you know eggs and like fatty meats and all those kind of things those are not healthy for your child you know they're just not they're never going to be healthy and there's a lot of like videos that i've seen on youtube of like women who are pregnant who you know they know that these things aren't good they know coffee is not good when you're pregnant they know that having eggs isn't good i mean even on non-vegan channels if you look up like the foods to avoid when pregnant they're all meat-based it's like you have to be careful with meat you have to be careful with fish you have to be careful with cheese you have to be careful with eggs and this isn't even like this is just like any doctor will tell you that um, to be careful with those foods. So why be careful with like a little bit of poison? Just fucking cut the poison out. You know, eat your whole grains, eat your potatoes, eat your beans, even though I just said I didn't like beans, but maybe you do. Chickpeas, you know, as much fruit and veg as you want. And I think that you're a lot safer. And you may not gain that very much weight throughout your pregnancy, which, you know, I mean, none of us want to get fat and when you're pregnant. Like, yeah, okay, your belly's going to get bigger and all those kind of things. But, like, you don't need to get, like, actually thick fat when you're pregnant. You really don't. Um, so this is my 16-week bump. I don't have very much of a bump yet. Um, it's getting there. If I've eaten a big meal, it looks a lot bigger. Um, and, yeah, I feel good. And pregnancy is pretty fun so far. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.